Alright, we're back. We're six. What I was gonna say before we entered the loading screen was nothing. Happened today, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for that special video. If you know, you know. Okay, we need to assassinate Ron Perkins, who is in West Side. We can walk the west side. It's not that far. I don't know where I left the truck at. And personally, I don't really care. What I need to do is where... Um, I can't remember where he is. I, I should have had it marked. I know Vincent, I'm not sure of the exact building, but I know he's near Saul and Son, so if I look around there long enough, in the west side area, if I look around there long enough, I'll be able to find him. Man. So the plan... I think the overseer is actually done making mods. I went to his page and it says you know his mods are no longer supported. So I think he's, I think he's finished. He's in oh, it's in North Vegas, which is close enough to where I said we were going near the West Side area. Will we finish the entire overseer? You know, all of his quest lines? This... This chapter? I don't know. I think so. I think so. And then Fallout 4, the rest of chapter 3, I think we're on, will come out after I finish Skyrim. But I will do my best someone's trying I'm in combat but I don't see anybody I will do my best my absolute best to must be I'm in combat with something oh I see I'm going to do my best to manage two series because I do need to start Skyrim again soon. No, I did not mean to point that at you, Boone. No, if I go in here, I'm not going in here with that. Hey! Hey! All clear. Maybe if you're gonna turn traitor on your murderous criminal employers, you should carry a gun. Just saying. Oh, he had a kid, though. Oh, well. We are bounty hunters. And the job is the job. Most of the time, we don't take jobs like this. But, I have a feeling we got into some <laughs> shady business with these people. The toilet seems like a good place to plant the evidence. You wish the briefcase behind the toilet and step back to admire your your handiwork. Yeah, we I got a kid. Hi. 
who doesn't seem too upset that we he's probably plotting his revenge now yeah we've, we've gotten into some shady stuff this is uh <laughs> I don't know what six is doing now here But we accepted the contract. I knew it wasn't a good con. I, I I knew it was you know shady business when I when I took it. But technically, we don't even need to do any of this anymore because you know we're millionaires. And Six is thinking about taking his wealth. He usually likes to you know get wealthy in all places. Like he usually doesn't take his money around with him. That's what I'm trying to say. Like in the Commonwealth, he's really not that rich. And in the Capital Wasteland, he's definitely not rich. In the Commonwealth, he doesn't really need money though, because he kind of makes his own stuff. I mean, he's got a—he's made an entire house. Civilizing Prim will show what we can do for everyone. Else. And he has underground hideouts in every single location. Commonwealth, Capital Wasteland, and the Mojave. Apparently, the underground hideouts are by Z Zimmer. Today Zimmer had Wrangler. something to do with those. We have, the time. Play a few hands, we have met. Sit, pay a hooker to touch your butt. Good times. Just saying. All right, Sullivan. Job's done. I feel kind of bad about it, though. What can I do for you? Yeah, I, I killed the target. You didn't tell me he had a kid, did you? That right there is the best news I heard all day. Well, I've got your pay all counted and bagged for you, so here you go. You got a strange look in your face, friend. Something troubling you. Yeah, you never told me he had a kid. Told you that who had a kid? Uh, Perkins? Oh, I wasn't aware he had any family. Wait, you're saying he had a child at his home. What did you do? I didn't shoot the kid, if that's what you're implying. Okay, well, uh, I wasn't aware there was any children, or else I would have given you different instructions. Well, I suppose we can't just leave the boy alone out there. I suppose we can put him to work, nice and safe. Yeah, he probably won't even remember his daddy after a few months. This will be for the best, no doubt. Put him in the... Yeah, you're going to have to give me some more details. No, what are you talking about? I mean that I know a fellow who will be happy to take the boy and get him out of the desert. and He will pay me for the opportunity. Personally, I find children to be disgusting and obnoxious, and I strive to never interact with them, so I can only guess why he would want one. Apparently, he suffered testicular injury in his youth, and he can't produce any of the filthy gremlins himself. Again, I fail to see the appeal. Okay, he wants to be a father. Regardless, would you like to help? I can, as always, pay you an excessive amount of money. I, I, what do you want me to do? We can't just leave the kid. But then we're giving them to someone we don't know at the same time. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's sort of a bad situation any way you put it. He, t he just told me why he wants the kid without telling me directly. You know, he wants a kid of his own. That's pretty much what he said. So if I can either leave him there alone... Or give him to some stranger I don't know who wants a kid. I guess giving him to a stranger is a better option. What do you want me to do? Oh, that's fantastic. Really excellent. Alright, I'm just going to need you to head back to the house real quick. Tell the kid to just stay put, alright? No running off to join the fiends or something stupid like that now. 
you let him know that a nice man, a, a friend of mine, Mr. Mueller, is going to be coming by soon to pick him up. And then you come on back here, and I'll give you a pile of caps, all right? Off you go. Okay. How would you guys... Like, would you guys consider the six a good... For, for the people who've watched six and you know, the entire journey in, in the Mojave, in the Capital Wasteland, and in the Commonwealth... Would you say he's a good guy? Or would you say he's kind of like gray in the middle? Although, you know, in the, and then when I was playing Fallout 3 in the Capital Wasteland, 6 is done nothing but good things, right? It, for the most part, he does all good. But from time to time, he, he gets a little chaotic with some of the stuff he does. I know I, I, know I mention it a lot. It just really gets me to think where I, <laughs> where he started and where he is now and you know depending on what's going on like he ends up trying to help people and then he ends up in sticky situations I'm sure he's taken out a lot of bad people from doing a lot of things you know he's killed Marco he's killed the judge he's killed Kaiser He's taking care of the gunners, nuked their HQ. I mean, saved the saved the um, Pittsburgh from slavery. Hey, yo, what's going on? My, I'm going the complete wrong way. To Perkins. What is he doing way over here? And he can die. That's the problem. He is not protected. Everybody in this game can die except for Yes Man. I don't know what you're doing way over here. Look at that. Like, there's giant geckos over here and stuff. I don't know how he. He's over here running around. I don't know why he didn't stay in your house, dude. What are you doing? Why did you come back? Please don't hurt me. I found a nice man who will look after you. Just walk. Just wait here for him. Sorry about your dad. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about your dad, dude. I don't know why you're so far outside your house. Personal space meaning anything to you, guy. Yeah, but how would you guys say six is for those who've seen the entire journey? Is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? Is he in the middle? I'm going with the middle. And I do want to start. It's really uh, hard for me to manage. Back to the managing two series at a time. It's really hard for me to do it because I'm busy. In the winter time, it's easier. But I'm gonna have to do it in this case because I do need to start Skyrim. I know I said it earlier, but it's like Skyrim's like between this and Skyrim. I don't know, man. I'm in the mood. I'm in that Skyrim kick again, so I I, I will manage both. Maybe one week I'll do Skyrim, next I'll do Fallout New Vegas, and I'll just do my best to manage. What can I do for you? All right, Roy, it's done. Kid is ready to get packed up. Excellent, excellent. You're, picked up. You're a fault. consummate professional, my friend. I'm just gonna give you this bag of caps. Here you go. See, this is above and beyond what I asked of you, and I appreciate that kind of work ethic. 
That's why I'm going to keep on paying you. So you come on back soon now, all right? In the meanwhile, you take care and try not to get killed. Yeah, I knew I was coming for that. I don't know if I'm going to work for these guys anymore. I, th I think that's enough. I, I think that's enough. I feel bad for that whole situation. These are the guys the great cons told me to get get with, though. According, I am very good despite some of the things I've done. But that was, uh... I think, what, what other jobs does Sullivan have for us? What can I do for you? I think Sullivan is done. We'll go back to Vincent and see if he has anything for us. I want to say I'm done with these guys. But they do pay. Even though I'm a millionaire. We do need to go to... What was it? What was it? The North Road? Was that what it was called? New Rockwell, whatever, whatever that is. Where is this located at? Maybe another day for that. Let's go see if we can find Vincent. Finally found it. Vincent, what do you got? Are we doing more shady stuff? Yeah, what? No, we're done. No one else in these territories. Oh, right, Ravas. Didn't Ravas give us something to do? Pretty sure this is it right here. Do I really want to start dealing drugs? I guess I'm already, you know, in the Commonwealth, I'm kind of doing the same thing. It's kind of messed up. Alright. Fine. Evening. Then again, I don't know if I, if I want to. We were kind of doing the same thing in the Commonwealth, and then we kind of stopped doing it. We kind of stopped the business we were doing with Murphy. In fact, we haven't talked to Murphy in a long time. I am actually... Gonna head home. Okay, I'm pretty sure the truck is still here in Bitter Springs. Okay, good. We are going to Ranger Station Bravo, which is not too far from here. Okay, now I'm pretty sure Ranger Station Bravo is also the place I can do Checkpoint Bravo. I think. Yeah. Yeah, there's a one more Some Guy mod here I can do. But I, I will do that later. 
it's like a it's like kind of like a horde mode and it has its own little quest on its own it'll be something I do before I finish the game because it, it's a quest where it weakens the legion and you know we'll do anything we can to weaken the legion I am looking for you I believe Lieutenant Brent Boone has knowledge on First some of these NCR people. Hope, he told, lieutenant me told me about Lieutenant Brent. Told me he'd have some uh, jobs for me. I'm sorry, I'm not in charge here. You'll want to talk with Ranger Erickson, I imagine. Yeah, but why aren't you in charge? I, I know you got some work for me. Boone told you about me. Being this Boone told me about you. I'm not a ranger, and I don't have any authority over them. Yeah, I know. But what are you doing? I find myself asking that every time sweat falls into my eyes. I was supposed to be stationed at Camp Guardian, where I would actually be able to do my job efficiently. But a great vagueness descended on Guardian and they've ceased any and all contact. Instead of being stationed there, I'm just sitting here. Okay, and what were you supposed to be doing at Guardian? I'm supposed to be keeping an eye on the road leading north. Uh -huh. That whole stretch, starting with the tunnel, is infested with raiders. And worse. This must be the work Observation Boone was talking tends about. to be easier from a point of elevation. Shocking, no? So what's going on over there in the north road? It's a natural filtering point for raiders. They want to get away from us, so they head east. Too far east, they find Caesar. Well, well they got to think they could use the bottleneck to ambush caravans and such. In response, we slapped a lock on their front door. But, in case we got to thinking that we could pay attention to something that actually matters, an important fugitive flit up there. Fugitive? Right, it's ridiculous. This is a complete farce. This asshole didn't run with valuable intel or anything. It's all for show. He's the spoiled son of an important fellow back west, Senator Burke. His brat Adam got caught making a big mess and he ran. Sick bastard was having his way with little girls and then waving his money around to make it go away. Well, someone got wise and brought it to the authorities. Somehow, the Burks got word and Adam split. Mm, you look like the mercenary type. If you're interested, I'd be authorized to pay you for going after Burke. Alright, this is right up my alley. Always looking for work. Excellent. I should warn you, the reward is only payable in full if you bring him back alive. Dead, you only get 500. Along with the knowledge that you rid the world of one more child-raping piece of filth. Here's the key to that lock we put on the North Road gate. Be extremely careful. It's nasty up there. Oh, he's coming back. <laughs> he's coming back dead. We'll see you in the next one.